G'day everybody and welcome back to the nice chilly morning on Venus. It's a typical 400 and something degree day outside which is just delightful. I've been thinking about this all week because I've been wanting to play more of it and I obviously need to today actually get on and get some more renewable power because I'm spending a lot of my time doing things like shoving coal in the furnace, mining coal, and it's not really a great way to be doing things. There are much better ways I could be working here. So, I think I should be focusing on wind turbines, not on solar. Because I was leaning towards solar, but I actually maybe should be going for wind. And I'm just going to quickly check what the big wind turbine requires. The upright. Wait. Why does that say appliance desk lamp left? It's the upright wind turbine, isn't it? The big one? No? Hmm. Where does it get made? Hang on. Let's do this. Wind turbine. No, it's just regular wind turbine. Okay. I want the regular one, which is actually not expensive. It requires a bit of sh a bit of steel because it requires the steel sheets. But that's the only expensive thing that it requires. Oops, that's not what I meant to press. Uh, so let's get some wind turbines. Uh, need more copper. Do I have more copper up here? I do not. Okay, let's go mine some copper then. And <laughs> thank you so much, 494 Machine, for the tier 2 sub for two months. Thank you very much. Thanks, Morbus, for the prime sub. And thank you, Silly String, for the 100 bits. And Elemental for the 100 bits. Good morning. Uh, I'm sure your cat will join us shortly. As my dog has joined me in the shed this morning. Even though it's chilly, she was happy to get out of her crate. She came and joined me. And then I wrapped her up in one of her blankets and she fell immediately back asleep. And is currently doing the same. <laughs> She's just lying there, sleeping. Paws stuck out, but everything else covered up by the blanket. Thank you, Shale. Thank you so much for the thousand bits. And thank you, Zephyr. Thank you for the hundred as well. The birds are quiet right now. Maybe I've annoyed them enough that they're not hanging out here today. I doubt it. The sun isn't yet is not yet up. That's probably why. They're not making noise just yet. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay. That's uh, full enough. Toby's doing fine. He's, you know... Daycare illness number N plus one. <laughs> it's just so many. So many of them. <sighs> thank you, Dominator. Thank you for the 11 months. And thank you, Founder Builders, for the Prime Sub. And Shadow, you crazy, crazy kind person. Thank you for the five gift subs. Uh, I did notice a comment just before I went live, which was How many skulls before I find a trader that sells seeds? Which is kind of a terrifying idea. Also, um, I did this vent wrong. The vent should be going to this pipe, not this pipe. Because the vent's going to suck in oxygen, which is then needing to be filtered by the Filter. Also, some of you may have noticed um, I've made a few animated emotes, so there's a little dancing engineer that you guys can do alongside the dancing dino. Which will probably be more relevant on Monday. Not Monday. On um, Sunday. Because change in stream schedules. Uh, pipes. Insulated pipes. It's 
Let's make some. Yeah. Uh, do I have any up on the shelf? No. <laughs> Our chat is full of them. Emotes. Yeah, I, I found out I can actually make things from space engineers very easily. With the stuff I've got. You must be holding the seed traders hostage in Europa till they sell you chicken eggs. Right. <laughs> the mouse pointer manipulation unlocked my inner emote maker. I, I always want to have the time to make things like the emotes, um, but I just so rarely get around to it. Oh, and this is what Charlie's doing right now, by the way. Just happily under her little blanket. I haven't built the heavy drill yet, no. When I once I changed the uh, ore drop rate over to boosted, um, ended up feeling a lot less need for it. Okay, so we need to drill. Yeah, because that's meant to be the output from the filter that gets called. Then the vent, I'm going to have to move. Oh, my mouse is driving me insane. Or it's Charlie uh, on my mousing surface. Could be that. There's a little bit of jitter every now and then. I swear I don't have a tremor yet. Uh, right. So that's going to be the easiest way to do this. I guess. I guess if I place it down in a way that I can just join straight up to the roof there for now. And I'll tidy it up later. Eh, yeah, like that's going to happen. Thanks, Talison. Think for 26 months. Yeah. Don't worry, I remember not to make the Mark II like I did in Terraformers, forgetting that I actually wanted the heavy. I've learned my lesson now. Probably. Yeah, that works. Okay. Like that. So... In. Oh, go on. All right, now we can start smelting this copper. Yeah. Thanks, Zavire. Thank you for another 300 bits. Thank you very much. And thank you, Shale, for the 200. And thank you, Redbeard, for the 26 months. Oh. Oh. That's an interesting idea, 494. Huh. Make a greenhouse outside specifically with the intent to make it get hot. Then use that as pre-furnace heat. Or even... Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting idea. I don't know how hot it will get, but it's an interesting idea. I don't think I'll be able to do it yet. I'm going to focus on getting the wind turbines built first. But once I've got the wind turbines... Yeah. I like that as a little cheeky workaround. 
Pressure maxes on walls is the in the 100 to 150 kPa range. Yeah, but does the pressure like if if I can manage the pressure while messing with the temperature for it, would it be a, or would it work for a while? Hmm. Be an interesting thing to test anyway. Use padded windows so you can go to the 300 kPa difference, yeah? Thanks, James. Thank you so much for lucky 13 months. Hmm. I, I, that's, a, it's a re that's a really interesting mechanic. I like the idea of doing weird things like that to try and see if they actually can be used even if they're like one of the things i really love about station is is it lets you do some really inefficient things and they still work well enough if you do them at enough scale i don't like games that force you to that kind of feel like they force you to do things in the optimum singular pathway sort of thing oh poop i'm out of power <laughs> speaking of not optimum pathway of doing things. And yeah, I, can the fancy Stellite windows take even more? Could be an interesting... Uh, uh, it could be a thing that lets you... Like, I don't even know how hot it would get inside the room. But it'd be interesting to have a heat exchange loop with the gases that are in that room. So my plan would not be to put the actual furnace gases into the room, but use a heat exchange between a gas system connected to the room and the furnace gases. Because I think that would be a more, uh, more reliable way to do that. And also wouldn't end up with my whole furnace gas exploding if the room explodes. <laughs> uh. do, do nested rooms like I've got the nested air conditioners. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that would work too. At some point it feels like I'm cheesing things. I'm going to put that away. I don't need to be carrying it all the time. Need the cable coil heavies. I don't need the pipe valve. I don't need the pumps. All right, I do need some frames and one steel frame. I'm going to need at least three of these. Uh, the solar tracking on Venus, I mean, the solar tracking anywhere ends up being pretty much the same in if, if you do dual axis tracking. So if you do dual axis tracking, it's fine regardless of where you are. Um, and I would probably do dual axis here because it's quite, it seems quite a leak the angle that the sun was at. So you get quite a lot of benefit from dual axis. Uh, I need to do some things before I go outside. And I really probably should have some sort of independent vent system in here. Let's get some food. Let's get some water. We'll deal with independent venting stuff later. I might even make, if I get time today, once I've sorted out my power situation. What? Why is interior airlock door set to exterior and exterior door lock set to interior? That's weird. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know, my lungs are going to die. Oh. I haven't died, but my lungs are now red. Yeah, I definitely need to set up a room for this to do this in. I don't know where that vent goes. Come on. It's done now. I thought the bug was fixed with the labeling too. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, looks like we need more. Oh. Oh, I forgot to check how much... Uh... How hot the gases were in my furnace. Come on, we'll go outside first. Got things to do. Got traders to see if there's a seed trader for me. Because I think today I capitulate and I have to buy everything that I need from traders. Water, oxygen, all the things. Void vending. I don't know what void vending is going to give me. I think I went the wrong way. No? Gee, that's slow. Well, that's a bit faster. I don't think this clone is long for the world. 65, I've made it worse. I've only got one pill, and pills are expensive to buy. Uh, and I feel like there's a high probability I'm going to die more than once. What? I still... what? I made that better or worse? Come on. Yeah, that's made it better, so let's go... And then we go. All the way around and see if this is quicker. Now. Well, that's happening. Let's set up a cheapo wind farm. Now I can't remember how many wind turbines in the middle of a storm a heavy cable can take. I guess I'll be finding out. What? Why can't I place you? How big are you? Can it only be placed that way around? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix this. Let's just see if I can... this guy's better. Aha! Oh, that's 
So the other thing I'm going to need to do once I've gotten a few things, the power sorted out, is make this landing pad bigger so that I can get the 5x5s to increase the num my chance of uh, picking up traders. There we go, 14 degrees from contact. Do these things quickly. I'm too slow. Okay, so we can get two down like that. Fine. So yeah, I, I was thinking after the terrible challenges I had with RNG last week that I do need to just accept that I'm going to have to use oxygen and water from traders to keep everything functional. Uh, which is, I guess, okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. But it is a thing nonetheless. And then, what have you got to trade for me? Duct tape, battery, cereal bar, water bottle, CO2 filter. What can I sell to you? Just gas. See ya. Goodbye. All right, let's see if my power situation can get better soon. I'm going to need more cables. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't have exactly the no right number for these two. Ha. Huh. That was lucky. There we go. Nice. And, of course, the wind then slows down. To a near pause. <laughs> Thank you again, Shale. Thank you for the 500 bits. Yeah. I can't wait to have a, a stable power source. I'm going to need to make more cables and more frames to put the turbines on. But hopefully that's going to help. Uh, no, I'm not going to bother with a weather station. I'm not going out beyond the range of the, um, like, visual range of the base or anything, or really going out that far at all, so I don't see much value 
in having something tell me that there's going to be a storm because I'm going to be close to home anyway. Uh, what am I doing? I need to make more steel frames. Then I'm going to need to make more steel. <laughs> no, I will not be making a TFE ball court. At least, not anytime soon. <laughs> and how much do I need? What do I need for this? More copper, which should be available. So that copper I started smelting should be done now. I have one. Two. If I have five more frames, I should be able to get two more turbines down. Then I should probably try and get more batteries. Because I think... Ideally what I want is the power during the storms to be maximally captured. And then after the storms have lots of power just hanging around and slowly utilizing that until the next storm comes. And this can go here. And we make another one. The terraforming mod is functional. Um, the reason I think our save died was that we went through two major updates of the game. And had to... Di and so that, in combination with everything else, was not great. Uh, I don't think it had. A, I don't think the terraforming mod itself was a part of the problem. I think it was just in general being a modded save going through a whole bunch of updates. Ali, um, I might actually have a play of the Planet Crafter with TFE on Monday. Uh, I was given a few keys by the devs and Shadow and I had hoped to figure out a time we could play it together, but I'm not sure that's going to work out with our current schedule challenges thanks to daylight saving and not daylight saving and the time differences that makes. Uh, and TFE and I couldn't decide to do what what to do on Monday, so thought we may do that. Since it's got multiplayer. Because I'd always kind of looked past it because it didn't have multiplayer. Placement is blocked by wind turbine. What? How is this one not blocked? But this one's blocked. What? What? Let me put one on the middle one. It does. All right. Oh, let's try this. Could look nice with them offset from each other anyway. Yeah. Alright, need more uh, steel sheets, but... Build ink. What do you have for me? Come on down. Our 
any of your building materials worth buying to save me some effort? What can I sell to you? Sell steel, solder, Constantine, Electrum. Hmm. Buy some steel sheets. How about anything else useful? Uh, but... There we go. See ya. Wait, why isn't my vending machine showing the things? Oh, I'm out of power. I'm not gonna sell water. <laughs> it's a good way for me to die. Yep, that's two traders down. Um. Air tank critical. Let's grab the food again. Um. Water. Let the stasis vacuum. No. Turn you off. How? Oh, you can get turned off. You're just wasting power. Uh, how hot is this now? Eight hundred and nine Celsius. What did I need for steel? Oops, not steel sheets. Six hundred twenty-seven. Okay, so I can make steel now. That's good. This is hot enough. Um, cool. But you know, not. Uh, right. We'll come back to that in a moment. I need to get some gold, which I've got out there. So, yes. Gold and copper into electronics printer. Make some heavy cable. The distraction with the trader um, is something that I'm very much struggling to deal with properly. <laughs> it's it's breaking my train of thought when I'm focusing on other things. It's messing me up. Uh need to put that in there close the door I'll go on the vent make this place vacuum and then we're going to open this up so I think the vacuum was actually doing me less damage than the hot gas was and my, unfortunately, my uh, gases in my waste tank are now really hot. So they're doing my lungs too much damage. Yeah, I'm honestly not mining that much stuff. So yes, a tool printer will be useful, but that's another distraction I'm trying to avoid. Because <laughs> I, I genuinely don't think it's what I need to deal with right now. I need to sort out my power situation. My power situation is dire, as you can tell. I'm throwing so much coal into the um, generator to try and heat up my my gases. In fact, I can probably turn off the heater for the gases right now. Let's turn off the heating for the moment. That's going to save me a lot of power. I can't let myself chase too many squirrels. Batteries are charging. God, 
I can't imagine what Charlie would do with a squirrel. The way the way she gets ridiculously interested whenever we see a cat on our walks. Uh, you know what? That'll do for now. Yeah, the pipe heaters have been sucking up a huge amount of power. So, be good to not have them doing that. Hopefully, with these four set up, come the next storm, at least, maybe I'll get full battery from the storm? Maybe? I don't know. But if I'm- if I end up with full batteries after a storm, that means I actually need more batteries. But I just don't know how much I get from each one. Because I've only ever used these on Mars, and they're effective on Mars, but they're not as effective as they should be here. So obviously this is... everything is very dense here. Did I lose those steel... no, wait, I got them in my inventory because I didn't have a vending machine. That's what happened. Right. Okay, we got four. Good. Yeah, I'm not surprised I'm going to need more batteries now, so... How do I want to do this? Not sure what I want to do next. Oh, I should really replace one of my CO2 filters because they're low. Let's do that before that becomes a critical problem. Okay. So, batteries. What do batteries cost? Need more steel and more copper. Alright, I guess I could make some steel. Was there something... I was thinking of making stuff for solar panels, but if I'm going wind turbines... Oh, is wind turbine the best option? Wind turbines do seem like a good option here. Because I do, because Venus does have quite regular storms. Um, but we do get sun every single day. So I think having a mix of both is probably going to be a good idea. So I should maybe make some more steel first, get a couple more batteries down. Um, actually, if I'm not running the pipe... No, let's make the astroloy. Let's let's do the solar panels first. Let's get some heavy solar panels. Because even if I haven't got them set up with tracking immediately, they'll be... They'll get me some power in every day, which I'm not getting right now. I'm only getting that tiny little bit. So we need an astroloy. Which is the... 727 Celsius. Okay, copper, steel, and cobalt. So I'm going to need to make some steel anyway. Alright. Let's go mine some coal. They're 
more fifties. No, that one's not. We've got still a little bit of coal there. Need more oxygen before I go out. Air tank critical. Yeah, hopefully I've got enough gas uh, in my new setup to actually get to 30 megapascals. I reckon I need 8 to 12 large wind turbines and 2 to 3 station batteries. I think, um... I think some more station batteries are obviously going to be useful uh, for when the next storm comes, but I'm just not sure if that's my... if that's a better thing to do than just getting some solar panels, because I don't... I find it really hard to understand how much power these wind turbines are using. In fact, I'm going to try to understand that. Let's see if I can understand it. Because it just doesn't... Hasn't made sense to me whenever I've messed with this before. I need the thing on my tablet. Uh, where is the thing? Network analyzer. So, this network. If I break that, the potential is what it's currently generating. Oh, well, yeah, it's what it's currently generating. So they. The four of them are producing, as a baseline, 700 watts. Though when it slows down, obviously, even less. How much does a solar panel produce? <laughs> Is it 500 watts? Okay. So these four at their worst are about the same as one perfect solar panel. So if I maybe have... Yeah. Probably like 20 of them. Even at their worst, they'll still hopefully... They'll be alright because then they'll be producing enough for about half of my pipe heaters. So yeah, I think maybe let's let's do what I was thinking about at the start of this stream and let's just go wind and we'll get even more wind. So need more steel for that. And yeah, because they generate at night versus solar panel, they are more efficient than a solar panel because they're constant. The thing I just need to be aware of is I just need to make sure that I don't let them overpower the heavy cable. <laughs> I don't know what their max theoretical production is to work out how many of them I can have on a single heavy cable. Oh, I was going out there to mine. Good. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, analyze can go back in there. Pipes can go on the ground. Nope, on the ground. On the ground. Ten big ones. Okay. So once I get 10 of those, then I have to figure out how to get them. Then I have to probably rework all my cabling. That's not too bad. That sounds manageable. Power low. Oh, I spent too long thinking and I need to now go 
get power and oxygen before I come out here. <sighs> 10 kilowatts per and 100 kilowatts is the maximum heavy cable. Right, if I see any gold, I should collect some gold while I'm out here, but I'm mainly collecting stuff for steel. I should get the gold for some oxygen anyway. Let me go up the mountain. That looks like gold up there. Let's get that for some oxygen. And coal's here as well. Perfect. And there's some iron. Sweet. My oxygen supply is getting low, so I should probably sort that out before I get too invested in the steel. But the pro... Oh, and I could... Actually, I could process that through the arc furnace to get the oxygen out rather than putting it through the regular furnace. Even though that's a bit more time-consuming and maybe more power-consuming. At least it means I don't have to heat up all those gases again. Actually, no. The way I've got it set up, it shouldn't be a problem because I've got that separate uh, coolant loop. Fine. Got enough coal for a few stacks of steel. Uh, more gold. Give me more gold. Make a cable maze to match the pipe one. Yeah. Look. This base is going to be an utter mess, and at some point. Hopefully, I reach the stage where I'm like, I would like to fix this, and I've got the resources and means to do so, so I'm going to try to. Really? No more gold? Silicon. Hydration no, I don't want copper. Dang it. Uranium, coal, iron. Right, let's go back inside. After I just fill up this stack of coal. Oh, buffeting around while I mine is something else. Oh, there was a boulder, but it's gone. Oh, if my turbines are almost completely stopped. <laughs> Oh, uh, Domi, the, the mining wind hasn't been especially nice to me. It has cracked my suit twice now. Already. Uh, we should be good for the vent to pull in oxygen, which is then going to go through that, yeah. It's a bit inefficient, but... Otherwise, if I... Turn you on... And I put five in there. Hmm. Don't think that's going to do anything, is it? I'm going 
going to need to put some gas in there, which I don't want to deal with. So I'm just going to shove this in this. Oh, the heavy mining drill drills so much faster. So yeah, I can understand why you would break your suit a lot more. You're, pop, you're creating a lot more vacuum to suck to suck the character into. Uh, no, the fuel tanks are empty from memory. I emptied both of them. This one's empty. Which I could probably use it as a, um, whatchamacallit. Um, I could use it as a waste tank. Ah, the cat has made itself known. Uh, how long is that going to take? That's going to take quite a while. So I should probably sort out my suit situation first. And then... Come back in here and smelt some stuff. Steel. So for the steel, I need one, two, three, and four. Found it as long as I wasn't hitting any of the movement keys when the voxel deformed into Atmo, I never got enough speed to damage my suit. Ah! Turret mining is a de good descriptor of that. I like that. Okay, so that's another stack there. I need to keep that in there so I know that I've got it. I can make two stacks of steel. Might even be able to make three. My three stacks of steel on the next go. Then... Should check on the state of all of the oxygen in a second. Grab some food. I've got water. It's hot in here. No! The system's broken. Oh, I hate these airlocks. Why do they not work properly? Meh. Somehow off gassed out here. Actually, that's probably the wrong way to do this. I want to do that and go interior vent. No, not interior vent. Exterior vent. On. Pump out from here. Okay, this is going to take a little bit too long, so I probably need to close the door. Vent this space, and then unlock. One drink. Oh, wrong key. Pressure critical. Oxygen critical. Okay, I've drunk. I will let my pressure stuff sort itself out. Then I will open, eat, close. Okay, now I can open this door up again. <sighs> oh... Don't ask Shadow has his feeling about the organization or lack thereof in my base. That's mean on several fronts. Okay, 
if I now close that door. And turn that off. Open that door. And that vent on. That should be set outward. Turn on. That's going to keep pulling from the other atmosphere, which is good. Now I want to check on my oxygen supply in here. We've got 192 moles. Okay, cool. So I've actually got a decent amount of oxygen in there. It's at the right temperature. So let's pump that through. No! Why is my oxygen supply contaminated? What even is in that gas? What? Oh, I'm not looking at the pipe now. <laughs> Panic over nothing. Don't mind me. <laughs> just just momentary panic it's fine oh that's not actually plugged in that would help oops Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> this time, let's have it plugged in. Hooray! Pipe network. 114 moles. 1.29 megapascals. Okay, so... Oxygen supply is improving again a little bit. How much do I have left in here? Another 53 moles. Oxygen supply is still tight, but it's not impossible. Get some more gold smelted. And then let's get some steel made. Should I smelt all my iron first so I don't cool down the gas that's in here? I think I shall, just to be safe. I need more shelves. I need lot. I just need lots of things. There's too many things that I need, so I have to ignore as many of them as possible. The gold is going to take forever, though. Um. All right. So let's put a little bit of gas in. That'll do. And let's see if we can start getting some of this to off gas. Okay, the coal's going. Let's get some more in. So if I process a little bit of it first... Like, if I process all of this, as much of this as possible first, hopefully, that's going to give me the ability to um, get all these cold gases out and then just put the hot gas in that's needed for the actual making of the steel. The steel doesn't need a huge amount of pressure, does it? One megapascal, yeah, not much. Oh, I don't think I've got enough steel, uh, enough iron in here. I accidentally got a 15 stack instead of a 50 stack. And iron. 
Yeah, lots of the atmospheric stuff is less powerful than it was before they added the extra versions of each of those things, which makes sense. Seems like a logical way to approach it. Okay, so that's not processing any more iron, so let's get a bit more hot gas in. We should have hot gas. No? Has this got this set? Oh, it's... Oh. Did not realize that already had things going on it, and that means I've just outgassed everything. That's now working again. That's my power out. Nine percent. Yeah, I don't have anything set up to use raw Venus Atmo at this stage. Uh, I probably should have. Like that was my plan for this other furnace was to have uh, raw Atmo from outside for doing degassing stuff and for processing some of the simpler ores as well because obviously gold and copper can be just smelted directly from the atmosphere okay i've got the right contents so let's evacuate the chamber so the chamber is cold let's just check this pipe fine because it's connected to this tank thanks star killer thank you for the prime sub <laughs> the main problem with you streaming so early in the morning and all is that i shouldn't watch you while eating popcorn popcorn's not a bad breakfast per se is it Probably not the worst. All right, before I get distracted, let's get some uh, suit power. Uh, ooh, I need to put more coal in too. Right, air tank. Let's fill it up. Air tank critical. Yay! Back up to fifteen hundred each fill. At least that's something. Right, so this is the tiniest amount of oxygen in this network, but. Don't need to worry about that. So let's turn you off because you're done. And now, make steel. In comes the gas. And we have steel. Hooray! Six hundred grams of steel. What else can I make while this is still relatively hot? Uh, throw some, throw through some other stuff, surely. How did I get volatiles on Venus? Uh, I bought them. Uh, silicon needs hotter, doesn't it? Oh no, it can smelt. 
Maybe I'll get a stack of silicon done. And definitely do copper. The gold should already be done, but I can probably check it all and just get some of it done anyway. This should all have been off-gassed. Uh, but I should smelt it so that I know that it's off-gassed. Hey, Black Wolf. Uh, <laughs> don't have... don't have much ability to make bombs, per se. And that's not hot enough. Well. It's 900 Kelvin and it's 700 Kelvin. Okay, we'll just eject that back out. Do the copper then. I mean, the furnace does make a decent bomb. That's true. Oh, and it's already too cold for copper. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to keep shoving this through here. I don't know which bits are off-gassed and which bits aren't. I should know, but I don't know. There is C4, but does the C4 work? Oh, there are mining explosives, aren't there? You can sort of do that. So the volatiles that I got, I actually got because I bought a fuel tank for the purposes of getting the oxygen from it. Turn it off. Pop out the ingot of copper. Let's see if it'll let me do some gold. Gold should, if it hasn't off gassed, process without changing the temperature. Ugh. Maybe that one has off. That one looked like it did off gas. That's a good thing. More oxygen. Nice. I'm going to be able to make so many wind turbines. Come on. Keep letting me make more. Oh, that's more oxygen, I think. That's good. All right, how hot do I need for gold? 600 Kelvin. No, not much, too much more. A nice little stack of gold ingots. Hey, Angermanic. Uh, do I really need to eject the gold each time? No, probably not. Do I like having them in individual 50 gram stacks because I haven't set up a stacker anywhere on the base? Kinda. Guess I can do one bigger stack. Uh, right. Let's wait for that to finish and then get gas out. Some gas through. Uh, yes, if I leave the thing open, it'll just pop it out. But as you've seen, a lot of the time I'm not actually getting the ingot because it's not hot enough. So I want to make sure that I get it before I pop it out rather than having to chase ores around and keep going cycling through. I think. 
doing it the way I'm doing it is a bit less effort than the number of times it would pop out unprocessed. Okay, gold is done. Uh, what is in the furnace? Still a little bit of oxygen in there. So let's evacuate the furnace entirely. Get all that oxygen out so it can get filtered. So we have how much oxygen in here? 3.9 moles and we've got now another 31 moles on this side. Which needs to be cooled down a fair bit before we pump it through. Okay, what else do I need for those wind turbines? Copper, steel, electrum. I've got quite a bit of electrum, so I should be able to make a few, fair few more before then. Let's get this copper. Grab some of this gold. And let's make some wind turbines. See if I could finally get to a point where my power situation does not require coal inputs. Alright, so I can probably make another four before I'm in a position where I should be thinking about um, extra cabling because I've got four out there. It is hot in this room and it is getting hotter because there's just a teeny tiny little bit of gas in here which I should set this thing up to evacuate. Yeah, there's 2.3 pascals of pressure here. It is not much. But it's enough to be annoying. So I need at least 20 of these for four more turbines. Plus enough for the frames that they're going to sit on. And I should probably go and see about finding another trader to bring down. I'm at that point as well. So what's the effect of the mood? I think it increases my food and water consumption. Or maybe just food consumption. Someone in chat might have to correct me on that. I think it's that. So it's not something I have to fix, but it'd be something that's nice to fix. Uh, which is something that I know uh, is uh, a concept that um, Dean Hall, the CEO of Rockerworks, uh, that he quite likes, because we've talked about it before with regard to Valheim and its food sit setup. And I, I think it's a good direction for a lot of survival games to move in. Uh, take things away from being necessary to being encouraged. I think it's a good direction to go in general. Alright, that's four kits. Let's get a battery. What's the battery large take? It's Stellite. 
What does Stellite take to make? Oh, I think Charlie needs some more water. One second. Silver, silicon, cobalt, and 10 megapascals. Ooh, real hot. Really, really hot. Okay. Not dealing with that. Right. So yeah, that's that's not how it happened. So let's get a regular battery. Or two. I think two. I need to buy fuel to boost temps for that level of hot. It's possible. Did I walk away from the microphone as I said not dealing with that? I did not realize that worked out well. Remind me just filling up my water bottle. It's really handy having a kitchenette right near my computer. That's literally within the reach of my headphone cable. All right. Oh, uh, no more frames, thank you. That's enough. Oh, what do the landing pads require? Also, what are they called? Landing pad. Copper and steel from the electronics printer. So if I want to go five by five, I need another 16 of them. Hmm. Oh, uh, this, this, grr. okay, before I build these batteries, I'm going to fix this end of the base. It's... I'm so uncomfortable with how my cabling is done around there. It is so bad. I'll make the two battery kits so that I've got them. Oh. Someone is using a power tool rather early in the morning. It's a bit annoying. Let's close the door then. Okay. Battery's almost done. Then I'm going to make the bits up for the kit as well. So yeah, I'm thinking what I should do... Now that I can make steel fairly easily... Is... Get this power... Get these four turbines down and then start building up the frames around the base and open up this area at the front here so that I can have a bit of a battery room uh, with, you know, six or eight at least of these small batteries, but having them in, maybe have them in pairs or even in singles with a single cable running outside so I can keep adding more turbines. Because I want to have multiple cables running outside so that I can have multiple stacks of the wind turbines onto the batteries. See you, Shadow. Where did I put that other battery? No, I just put. I thought I just put the battery up there. What did I do with the battery? Oh dear. Have I lost. Have I lost my mind? I swear I put a battery up here. It's not on the floor. Oh, there it is. On that floor. There you go. It's like, it's not on the floor here. It's not on the floor here. What's that? 
Anyway. Let's get some, uh... Ah, red vacuum. Cool. Get that vent back on. Get the interior door so I can close it. Get the exterior vent on. Open this up so it doesn't explode on me outside. Back at zero pressure. So, nope. Interior door is open. Okay, cool. Sorted. Should be able to double the pressure in that. Almost. Now. Oof. Let's see what trader I've got. Void Vein Vendors. Okay. They might be someone I can sell rocks to, maybe? So if they're willing to buy ores from me, that's potentially helpful. I made that worse. Yeah. Perfect. And to land. Obviously, the landing pad's going to need to. Is probably when I make it bigger, I'm going to push it out further. Because I want to make it easier for me to get these wind turbines down. Oh dear. Because they need more cabling. Uh, the reason I haven't been leaving the traders on the landing pad is so I can get the next trader. So I don't want to miss out on a chance for a seed trader. Okay, so I can buy oxides, unprocessed ore, and junk ore. What the heck is junk ore? And they will buy hard suit packages, cardboard boxes, and mining drills. Ooh. What does a mining drill take to make? Obviously a tool maker. Just iron and copper. He's willing to buy it for 50. Hmm. You get random ore in a centrifuge. Okay. Now, I'm not going to be able to do anything with oxides unless I can... Um, unless I conveyor from the vending machine's output all the way into my vacuum inside. Which I guess I could do. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I probably won't be able to even vend them straight into this, would I? Or build the vending machine inside, which might be not a bad idea. Okay, so the only thing that might be worth here is getting money from him. Because that's a lot of money I can get for a little bit of work. Uh, how long is he hanging around for? Eight minutes. 
Okay, let's make a tool printer after I get these wind turbines up. Oh, don't worry, my oxygen tank is absolutely going to give everybody anxiety today, including me. What? No, it- why? Oh, why game? Why are you so inconsistent? What's changed? What is different about this one? Arg. So you'll let me place it in that order? Nah. Right, let's get some oxygen before I suffocate. Well, I'm thinking it mightn't be a bad idea to have a... Can the... So the dish, can it work inside a glass room that's vacuum? Because it feels like a cheat to just bring it inside underground. Um, why was that coming inside? Oxygen. Air tag critical. Ah. Oh, if we're not sure that it's going to work, I'll just deal. As is. Okay, then screwdriver. And I have these constructed. Then let's see how many cables I have left. Or how many more I need to make to get these all connected. Awkward not having the steel frames in between the rows, so I can because <laughs> I can't stand on them. Okay, so that's two more hooked up, and I need a bunch more cable for the other two. It feels like a lot more effort at the moment to get the power set up because I've not done it for so long. <laughs> I left it for way too long before I did anything about it. If I'd been slowly building up my power supply for a while, this probably wouldn't feel like such a big task to get on top of. All right, get the cables. And then... I was going to try and make a tool printer, which should be from the auto lathe or electronic printer. Tool manufactory. Kit manufactory made from auto lathe tier one, iron and copper. Got any copper lying around? No. You've got iron. And 
And you've got the remaining copper, so I need to go smelt some copper. And then I probably need to go mine some more copper, because I think, if I'm remembering correctly, the tool, the mining tool, requires copper. Do have some copper in here, though. All the cables. Uh, mining. Actually, I didn't have a look how many mining drills that guy wants. Like, how many can I even make for him? I do have a burst pipe outside my door. It was my deliberate burst pipe. Yeah, he only wants one. Still, given it's something that I need to make, like the tool manufacturer is something I need to make anyway, it's probably not bad to just make it. Get the 50 bucks. Uh, possibly he wants an empty box for that, yeah? I can't make a box. Because isn't that... Doesn't that require plant? Like, or can I make a box? How do you make a box? Cardboard box. From silicon? What? Okay. Silicon goes in. <laughs> Let's make a cardboard box then. Huh. Really? I think I've had other traders want cardboard boxes too, and I just ignored it. Huh. Hunger caution. Huh? Why does he not see it? Cardboard box. Wants one, available zero. Why not available? Oh, cardboard box with the following. Contains corn soup. That's why. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know what to do with this cardboard box now. Yeah, the drill said it needs a battery. I've got a bunch of small batteries and I often just throw them away once I've got bigger batteries instead, so that's fine. Tool manufactory. What does it want next? Welding torch and iron sheets. Oh, no, 
wants welding torch and plastic sheets. Now I want the screwdriver. Okay. Have tool manufactory now. So now I can think about upgrading my tools at some point. I swear I had more cables around here, I do. No? I swear I still had more than that. I think it's in here. Ah, uh, no. No, never. I'm not using TeamSpeak right now. So you can do stuff on the server. The purpose of the burst pipe was because I needed a vent before I could make a vent. And so I burst the pipe deliberately to get a vent. Uh, basically a free vent. Alright, so you've got iron and copper in you. Okay, drop those out. In. Drill. And a battery. Let's go sell that and send this trader away. Yay, monies! Alright, goodbye. Are you gonna give me something? No. You're gonna make me go inside and come back, aren't you? Monster. No, I, I just don't, um, I haven't been finding, like, I seem to have been finding enough traders that have oxygen that I can, I'd prefer to buy it in bottles than buy it as oxide. Alright, so that's back, we need to vent my bottle again. Uh, I'm not about to die, no, probably. I've been closer to death than this. Oh, I don't actually have the stuff on me. Never mind. Alright, we'll eat and drink. Because my health is getting low. Death means less food needed. Um, sort of. Sort of. Alright. Open, drink. Drink, 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 drink. Close helmet. Switch to food. Wait for my breathing to settle. See if I'm going to die anyway. Nope. Alright. Open. Eat. Close. Oxygen critical. There we go. A few less warnings. <laughs> A few.
Okay, back up to good on that. Down to four warnings. It's almost like I'm healthy. Now, next was go back out there to see what other trader there is. Because there should be a new trader by now. And connect up the cabling to the last wind turbines. Planetary pebbles. 64 degrees from contact. That's going to be slow. I'm definitely getting through a bit less coal, I think. I definitely, I think. Hmm. Kind of... Yeah, that's the wrong way. Yeah, that's the correct way. Six. Twenty-four. It's the wrong way. That ain't that low. Game, your filters are low. You smell. You're grumpy. You probably have really damaged lungs. <laughs> Splitzy, it's almost like I'm healthy. Yeah. It's almost. Could be worse. I could have no money either. Come on, what do you got for me, buddy? You've got the same sort of stuff, and you will buy from me a heavy mining drill for 250. The heavy mining drill needs a large battery in it as well. But they would want two of them. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. What's the heavy drill cost? The batteries aren't too expensive, but I will need to make sure it's charged. I did get the money from both the credit cards. Yeah, Dormy. Heavy drill. Oh, I need the tier two to make the heavy drill. I guess I'll make it. Yeah, the game's always saying I'll suffocate soon. Air tag critical. It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's totally fine. Um, my hope is if I can sell off a couple of tools, I should have a look at how much, what the heavy drill actually costs. Steel, Electrum, Invar. No, I don't have Invar, do I? And it's relatively hard to make. So yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, so, no, Sisu, all the turbines are connected. I finished them off on the last time I was outside. Uh, do I try and move the vending machine inside or make a tube inside to try and get oxides out? Could be funny. Uh, where have I got? How many more of the vet things did I make last time? I've got 
four more shoots. I'm going to need to process some more iron. I'm going to make more of them. Yeah, I agree making the tubes is probably easier. Because I want to be able to like access the vending machine while I'm next to the other controls that I have for it. For the trader. Let's get some of that in. A hundred moles of stuff. I might actually get above 1.5 megapascals, maybe. Oh, yeah, Shadow Drake. I can see how that might work. Have the hand drill out automatically mining so that the stuff that comes out of the vending machine instantly goes into my belt and can't uh, evaporate. I didn't stop the tool mod. Thank you for the reminder. Probably don't want two of those. Thank you very much. That could have been a really annoying thing. Uh. Uh, I've intentionally not put a pressure regulator on my oxygen supply. The reason being that I want to know where how bad my oxygen supply is. Why was I making iron? What was I going to make? Anyone remember what I was making with the iron? Tubes. Oh, yeah. Shoots. So since it's vacuum in here, if I can get the shoots to come all the way back inside, I should just be able to immediately vend the gas, the ices as I buy them. And they should get in here. Uh, TTR, no. From my understanding, shoots are insulated unless they're the windowed ones. The windowed ones let ices melt, but the regular ones don't. Uh, what does this cost? Okay, yeah, I could actually replace it with a refrigerated vending machine, then I don't need to rush so much. I replace the vending machine outside. Uh, the battery rewiring thing, yeah, I still want to do that. But I don't, it doesn't feel as, I, I've got, I feel like I've got an opportunity to get a decent amount of oxygen in a overly complicated and weird way so i'm finding it too tempting to resist uh, what else do i need to make this uh fridge no refridge it's just constructed from the kit okay no what else do you want plastic sheets Then what do you want? 
Okay, just need two plastic sheets with it. Cool. Crowbar. Those out of the way. And hand drill. Sweet. So I've got 21 shoots. Is that going to be enough? No idea. Let's find out. Both vending machines are insulated? Hmm. Huh. So I don't need to replace this? Yeah, let's find out. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? may need to get more iron anyway. I have a feeling I'm not going to have enough shoots for this. Yep. I'm going to be well short. some iron. How low is my tank? It's okay for the moment. Maybe. Hope I don't pop into my base. That should do for now. Volatiles and oxide and have a barbecue. Yeah! I probably could just get rid of my small wind turbines, to be honest. They really don't generate much. Let's go get some iron smelted. Should probably use some of that iron to make some more filters for my suit, because that's running low now, too. How coal, how much does this lost? Oof. That's gotten cold without the gas heaters on. Uh, still going to leave them off because, yeah, it's getting cold, but if I, if I have them on, I'm just constantly chewing through coal and I'm trying to get to a better power situation. I realize I'm also getting distracted by getting to a better oxygen situation, but if I can do both, that's even better. I don't know how it's losing so much heat. I don't think I've got gas going back into it. Air tank critical. Thanks, I Zero. Thank you for the prime sub. Uh, I don't know how you refine the empty cans. Why did I come back out here with iron? What am I doing? I 
need to get more shoots. Shoots. No, that's steel. Okay. Back in here. Yeah, and chat makes a fair point. It is probably better just to use the tin cans back in the food packages to get more food. I have not been killed, and Dog decided that I wasn't interesting enough and left me. Pipe bender makes shoots much faster. Oh. Forgot that. Because yes, that does matter to me. Thank you. That is better. <laughs> it's much better. Thank you. <laughs> I completely forgot that it did that. That was, um, yeah. Whoops. more have we got? Still a bit more. Yeah, stackers would probably be useful, but stackers are something I put as a fairly low priority on things. Generally. For better or worse. Oh, I've only got enough for one more. Just make it. Okay. Let's get this chute hooked up, let's buy this thing and send the trader on his way. It's a luxury, like base lights. Yeah, exactly. than I was expecting at this stage. Cool. So we're now hooked up. So. Now, I buy some ice, I vend it, and I hope it appears on the other side, or at least that I end up with pressure inside the base. Did something just fly past my visor, or was that just a weird glitch of the heat effects? Buy one for a test. Good idea. They are cheap. Vend! Let's see what's on the other side. We got ice! Unmelted ice. Yeah. Alright. Let's buy more. Explode the whole thing. Oh, 
And... Power low. Don't know why I'm doing it 50 at a time, but I'm just going to keep doing it that way. I feel like I leave less in the machine this way. Probably entirely unnecessary. Let's just buy the rest. Vend. 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 All right. Hey. We got oxides. We can throw it in the furnace. I can get that oxygen back. Should send away the trader before I do that though. Pumpkin soup. Yep, nope. See yep. I want a new trader. I think it'll take a little while before the next one shows up on here, so I'm just gonna go inside and then I'll come back as soon as I've processed this oxide. Ah, the waste tank's got a fair bit left. It's okay. Once it gets above three megapascals, that's when I start getting a bit sheepish. Since I've resigned myself to actually using the traders to buy oxygen, I think I've got a higher chance of survival on this clone. Oxide in. Oxide in. We can pump it out. Oh! This pumps on. That's the problem. That's why this is cooled down. Dang it. I didn't realize I'd left that pump on. I could build a whole system to process this, yes. But I want the gas now. And I already have this system, so this is the quicker way for me to do it. Because I've already got this system working and filtering, so I can already get the oxygen out this way. And it's not particularly hot coming out, because it's, it's ice. Like, inside the furnace is only 17 degrees, so I'm not making hot oxygen. Even this cool gas storage is actually quite cool. Uh, it's cool enough that I've got liquid pollutant, which is bad. Not enough to be a problem, though. Eight hundred and forty-three moles of oxygen. <laughs> I think this pump's still on. How hot's that? Thirty degrees. Oh, I've got eight megapascals. Let's turn that off. I, uh, uh oh, um, what, it's 10 megapascals for my canister, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> I was like, did I just overpressure that? That has fixed my oxygen worries for a while. Excellent. Now I need to make an evacuation thing. Then I can just off my waste tank into an evacuation thing in here that's on this side. Um, with a pump on it. 
Do I let myself get distracted before I do the power thing? I think I do. Oh uh, yeah, water is a problem. Water is definitely an ongoing problem. Um, so what do I need? I need kit utilities and I need a volume pump. Yeah. And probably some pipe. I'll do with the vending machine later. I'll need that for when I make when I can finally make food. Uh Yeah, I need to deal with the trader as well. Too many things. Too many things. Tank empty. Guess I'll go that way. As awkward as it is. And then that. Terraforming Venus a thing? Uh, yeah, if I install the terraforming mod, yes. I haven't installed the terraforming mod, but I have installed some other mods. Uh, which are unlikely to factor into things I do for a little while yet, because they're decorative. So if I have that on... And... Then I put this fuel canister, which I should rename, but whatever. That sits in there, so that's going to stay at zero, and then I can swap it out for that. Yeah. I can just swap my canisters when I need to, and that's going to speed up the emptying of my waste canister dramatically. Uh, yeah, tube mod, the letters mod, all the Wickus mods, basically. <laughs> All of Wickus's mods. Oh, I want to drop on ground. I don't have enough cupboards. Oh, what? There's more oxide here. Missed that. Uh, okay. Hunger, I might need an inline tank. Oh, actually, the pressure wasn't that high yet. Yeah, I, th I thought I'd processed all 300. I didn't realize I hadn't. <laughs> there you go, that started. Let's just check the pressure of this system. Because that might get a little bit high. Oh yeah, I could make an could have made an ore belt and kept it in the belt. True. And I could definitely make myself a pressurized room. That'll be nice. So I can go up to 60 megapascals, so I should be fine on this. You're at zero KPA now, so that's fantastic. Things are starting to get a little bit more efficient. And now, oh, this is going to be exciting. Critical. I can breathe for so long! Actually, I can... Breathe until my waste tank fills, and then I have to rush and deal with my waste tank. My waste tank's going to be my problem now. 
Okay, trader, sort that out, and then I'm going to come back inside, make some steel frames, and start trying to build out this battery area at the front. Interstellar inhalants. Interesting. I forgot to check what degrees was. I think I may have made it worse. Harry spare waste tanks. Not a bad idea, actually. I do have a spare one. Yeah, high... The fancier tanks would also be a good idea. But... That's gotten worse. Oops. Hey. Can I build a more a better backpack? Ah. Uh, I don't know. See a dominator. I thought the hard suit jet pack was the better one that I wanted. I think the hard suit jet pack is the best I can like is the most utility for me. So the one I've started with is actually the best one. So this guy is all bulk. Oh, no, there are some canisters there. Water canister I should probably buy from him. Uh, I can sell... Oh. Bulk carbon dioxide. I really have to... I'm going to have to connect up stuff so that I can do that. The water canister is really expensive, but I probably should buy one. Yeah, I'll buy one. See you later, buddy. Let's get this power situation better. Where's the water canister? There it is. Put it with my emergency oxygen canisters over here. Guess I could check how much is in this. So we've still got... <laughs> I've got 19 litres of water left. That's not a lot. This water canister I just bought almost doubled my remaining water supply. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I should have bought water ice. I didn't even think of it. Uh, that would have been a cheaper way of doing it. Uh, okay. Pa battery. I'm going to have to do some drilling. I may end up popping open this space. But we've got to clear out some volume here. I need space for a proper battery room, and I want it near the front. This is almost certainly going to pop outside. Um, what do I need? I need to have got a steel. I guess I can use the iron frames as well, but got seven steel frames and I got 12 steel sheets. I need more steel stuff. More steel sheets. Eh. 
So what I'm thinking is, if I make a wall here that I pass a bunch of cables through and hope that those cables never burn out because that'll be an absolute nightmare. Um, oh, actually, what's the pressure differential on a wall? Max pressure difference, 300 kPa. That should be enough. That should be fine. I might put a wall in instead. Over here, a wall in, and then I'm going to drill in from the outside so that I can see all the cables as they run through the wall. And then I can run them to separate batteries, and then the batteries can all combine to provide power to the base through managed networks. Like transformers. I think that'll be helpful anyway. Because I think with how much oxygen I've got, I... If I make at least a room that's entirely enclosed with locks, I'll be happy to pressurize it and set up a new airlock. So I think I might make myself an eating room after I make the battery room. And if I made an eating room, then I'm going to use my pill to fix my lungs. Although arguably then I don't need to... My lungs are probably less efficient right now, so I'm probably... The game probably makes me chew through more more stuff. Okay. Let's grab frames. I'm thinking that's going to be the cable access way to outside. Oh yeah, what's happening on with my steel sheets? I should probably stop making them. Decent supply. Let's get some steel frames. Won't need as many of those, so hopefully I remember to go back and check on that sooner. Oh, that is outside. Well, since I've got outside, let's at least drill this through then. This way I've got my access properly sorted. My wind turbines. Whoa! That sent me flying. <laughs> It's still streaming inside. Um, can't actually get through there? <laughs> oh, right. My pressure... My tank. Oh, no. I completely forgot about my tank. It's going to get hot. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. 
I was like, oh, I'm fine. My oxygen tank's going to explode. Where are more frames? Oh man, I hope that's stopped it. It is, most of the network is insulated, but how hot is it getting? Oh, it hasn't gotten hot yet. Oh, lucky I did all that with insulated pipe. I'm so lucky. Oh, man. Okay. I think the pressure's going down. I don't think anything else is coming in. Let's get a floor in. That went from calm to terror rather quickly. Oh, and it's the tank is a Mark II, so it's insulated, so I'm fine. Oh, I don't need to worry. So the whole system is is insulated, so it'll be fine. It'll take forever for it to heat up. So I can get back to working on this calmly like I was. Okay. So let's get rid of those bits that I just placed in, because I don't actually want... Oh, do I care if I've got iron walls here? And I think I'm open up there anyway. Let me get rid of this iron frame. That I do want to get rid of. Because I want the wall in there instead. Let's go steel and welder. Weld that up. Uh, the uninsulated pipes, I'm pretty sure, are all my AC units. Uh, so they're not too much of a worry. Um, right. I'm wasting stuff going into my waste tank right now. But... I want to drill out a bit further this space. So 
So I'm going to clear this space out, and this is as far as I want this to go. This will be enough room for my batteries, I think. And the cabling that the batteries are going to need. I think what I probably want to do from here on out is expand deeper into the mountain, not out towards the surface. Uh, no, I'm not going to set up a glassed-in veranda out there, no. that's a That would be a very, very distant goal to have any sort of view of the outside. Venus is just too hot. Uh, now I need wall. Uh, kit. Wall. Wants steel. Nope, that's silver. That's steel. Uh, what type of wall do I want? Yeah, that'll do. And what does this want? This one steel or plastic, I think. There we go. This should be airtight now. Hopefully the pressure will start dropping, and it is dropping good. Alright. Now... I'm going to have cables running in here from outside. That are going to various wind turbines. Realistically, I'm probably... I probably should just aim for three sets for the moment. But let's put in enough stuff for five. Oh, okay. I need to go deal with my health situation. Water. Food. Cycle to the vacuum. That's a lot of flashing red. It's a little bit less. Then we do... Ah, we're in vacuum, so it's fine. Let's unlock the helmet. Open, pressure eat, critical. close. Oxygen critical. Low pressure. Open, drink a little pressure bit. Critical. Close. Oxygen critical. Let's let my health come back up a bit before I push it any further. <laughs> so I'm down to 14% health. Ooh. Oh, thanks so, thanks so much. Don't blame me. I missed those gift subs. I think that was during my panic. <laughs> Thank you very much for the five gift subs. Uh, panic caught me. Okay, and open and drink. Pressure critical. Oxygen critical. And close. Low pressure. Lock helmet. All right. That'll get better. Uh, while that's getting better, uh, my filters are mostly dead, but it'll be okay. I'll be back in one second. I need to take a quick bio break while we wait and see whether I'm going to die. Health low.
I have 39%. Ooh, 40% health. Excellent. Let's go back into the heat. All right, all my loose stuff's going to get moved around. Ugh. Not a deal. We're still at 234 in here. I'm a little worried that I may have a gas leak coming in. Does this say world or room? It says room, so I should be okay. Say room everywhere? Oh, it says room everywhere. It should be okay. When we had our leaks in the Terraformer series, we could usually see a segment that said world. Uh, where are my batteries? Where did they end? An unwelded block is still a room. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I thought we could see world somewhere when it went wrong for us. I don't remember. Remember we had a lot of problems with <laughs> leaking spaces for a while. The gas all seems to be coming from the back and I didn't mine out the back. What is the pressure outside? What is the pressure in the uh, outside space? It'll be the same as this pipe. Nope. That pipe network is 9 point... Almost 9.5 megapascals. Hmm. I know I've only got the one vent pumping. I'm just trying to remember what uh, world atmosphere is to see if I'm below world atmospheric pressure or if I'm still at it. Um, hmm. Hmm. so I am a bit below world pressure, so it should gradually empty it out. I probably want to add another vent. But that's going to be a bit of a pain. Although... That just goes to outside, so I could just add it onto that pipe. That's not going to be too, too hard. Uh, what do I need for a... I don't think I can go a big vent. Because I think they're too expensive. And I need the advanced thing anyway. Iron, gold, and copper. Put those away because I don't like the idea of them sitting on the ground. Because they were a bit annoying to make. I want iron and copper. I've got iron and I've got copper in my suit, so I can chuck that in. Just need to go smelt some iron. And I can depressurize this space a little bit quicker. And then start fig figuring out where I want to put the batteries and how I'm going to arrange them so that the power supply isn't all weird. Uh, 
there's iron there. Sweet. I have no idea where the boxes ended up. Probably somewhere over here. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's in behind there. And my thinking is... Slap this up here. Grab a couple of pipes. Grab a couple more pipes to get around the path of the shoot. And that'll work. Then I just need power to it. It is very slowly maybe dropping. I don't know. I feel like something's wrong down this end, but that hasn't changed. But we know that sometimes it doesn't have to change for it to be to get broken. Um, I'll see how it goes once I've added an extra vent to see if that's enough to fix and then be sure that this is draining. I know there's a lot of Atmo to remove. The thing is, I just want to see it drop low enough that I'm confident it has in fact dropped. <laughs> and that it's not being constantly resupplied. That's the bit that's worrying me. It is dropping. Like, we're down to 232. We were 234 over here before. Two thirty one. Yeah, it's slowly dropping. So many moles there are of gas. Uh the trouble with the moles of gas is that's not the whole room, that's just the cell you're standing in. So it gives you the same indication. Thanks, Shaggy. Thank you for fifteen months. I think this is working. It's just slow. It's just very slow. So my idea of this battery room was I was actually going to isolate it because they do heat up and once I start pressurizing my base that's going to be a problem. Uh, it's obviously not an issue when the base is vacuum, but when the base is no longer vacuum, it will become a problem. I was going to do that. And then there's only a few more blocks in this room that need to be filled up. So I might as well fill them. Make sure this room is entirely sealed up. prevent boo-boos in the future. There we go. Then I can put a door and ultimately later an airlock on there. Is there a pipe that's overstressed? Um, that's not. That's not. I don't think so. Man, this is going to be slow to empty out. Okay, batteries, where are they? Where are my batteries at? Where did they get thrown around to? That's the furnace kit. Whoa! 
I was not expecting that to fly like that. Batteries. Batteries. Where did you end up? Ah, there. Floating in that ball. Why is that floating there? Duh. That's weird. I have never seen that before. Uh, no, Dommy, I'm not going to do that. That sounds like a terrible idea that's going to end up with me messing up my airlock and putting gases where I don't want them. Uh, so no, I'm not going to connect both vents within the airlock to the pipe. If anything, I'll just set up more vents. Where's the other battery gone? It's not in behind there, not in behind there. Is it enough in this airlock? Yes. So, so that I can replace these standard station batteries with big batteries when I can afford to, I'm going to put them paired like this. And we'll do two batteries for each chunk of, each grouping of um, turbines. In fact, just had a thought. Possibly want to do this this way instead. That's going to make it easier to splice them off and I should move these batteries a uh, small block forward. Yeah, fair point, Nev. I probably should um, weld up the rest of the frames around the place. Uh, what other ones have I got around here that aren't welded? All these ones in the floor. Because, yeah, the unwelded ones can seem to leak Atmo. That's all my blocks now welded up. I think. Yeah, see how much quicker this is going down now? There was this was leaking. This one must have been leaking. Thank you for the reminder, Nev. Uh, I knew there was going to be something. I just couldn't recall. I remember that that was one of the things we figured out. We had to do when we were um, fixing stuff in terraformers. Just needed the prompt to actually get there. Okay, gonna need more heavy cable. But my idea is this. I have the five of them running around, and then I branch them off first one to this set, then I've got a few more sets. Later on, I could possibly... I could actually take some of the ones off this side, put them on this side, and run them to batteries here. But at least I'll be able to get three or four sets in here. Power critical. This one branched from there. Goes to the back of that one, and then goes up to the other one as well. When these become big batteries, 
I just have the one cable. Yeah. <sighs> See? <laughs> now this is training much faster. Good point. Switch the batteries to on before I forget. I'll now connect this up to... Actually, I'll go make some more wind turbines. So to make more wind turbines, I'm first going to need to use some of the steel to make some steel frames. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Ooh, that was close to destroying my lungs. That was way too close. Huh. The vent in here is on, right? Yeah. Oh, Charlie wants back in. One second. Charlie, why are you like this? Why is my cognition low? No, where's my tablet? Where's my pill? Cognition critical. No! Oh, I can't take a tablet through a closed helmet! Oh. Dang it. So close. Ah. Oh. I don't think Charlie can take too much credit for that, but she can certainly take some. Meteor mu meteor munchies. Oh. Uh hang on. I wouldn't mind buying some food. I don't know how long I can stand in this suit for, but I'm just going to use it for the moment. Seventy-eight from contact. That's better. That's much better. No, my battery didn't run out. My battery was low, but it did not run out. Uh, my battery still had 6% charge in it. Or something around there. See, it does. The thing that was the problem is my... Uh, output tank got full and I forgot that I was supposed to be carrying another empty tank so I could have done an instant swap and then all would have been fine. Instead I had to wait till I got into the airlock to vent it and then it all went wrong. Ooh. Okay, I've got to get inside. Oxygen low. <gasps> no! Oxygen critical. I can't take the disc out! I can't get in! How am I going to get in? Cognition low. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm going to have to take out that wall of the battery. Um, I've collapsed. Why can't I give up? Oh, there we go. Respawn. Ah, 
Ow! Ow! Dead. Cognition critical. <laughs> I think I'm dead again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm coming back from this one. I think my lungs are done. Oh, a triple. I think I did a triple. <sighs> Shadow will see the VOD and feel the FOMO. Yep. Okay. I'm back. Uh, wow. Uh, so, where's that empty bottle? Where's that empty canister? There, I thought... This one. No, this one. That should actually have been put in there. I think I swapped the wrong canister before. So that now sits in my suit backpack as a backup. That should then be emptied because I don't know what I've just put in there, but I put something in there that I didn't want. Yep. Go emptied. <sighs> uh. Right. That was um. That was certainly a trio of stuff-ups. <laughs> oh. Why are we at zero KPA and yet seriously hot? Is it all, this place almost drained? Yeah. Well, that would explain why I cracked my helmet and everything when I cracked open the wall. And yes, the hissing you're, you're hearing is the sound of this suit. Uh, the fuel tanks that I've... These ones, I bought them as fuel tanks and then I drained them. And have used their oxygen for various things. Uh, I was making steel frames. Wait, was I? Yeah, I was making steel frames because I was going to make another set of wind turbines to plug into the new set of batteries so that I can get more power and then I can have those... Plugged in, such that they can supply power to the base as well. Can you take oxygen out of respawn suits? I have no idea. Let's have a look. Eh. You can, this should be venting. And it is venting a tiny little bit. Okay. Well, you can go in here so I can get that oxygen back. Also, so I can stop hearing you. Nope, can still hear it. That's annoying. So... On the far side of these batteries, like on 
On the outer side of the batteries, I should be able to have all of them connected up to the same heavy cable, right? Because I'm unlikely to take 10 megawatts out at once. I can hook them all up, connect them to the same network, and then have uh, my things coming off that. Cool. That should work. Oh yeah, I should check the trader. Another steel frame. I'll start laying this out when I go outside. Probably going to need to burn some coal soon. What's the trader got? You have got duct tape, batteries, cereal bars, water bottles, filters, road flares, cam lights, spray paint, pills, and hand sanitizer. And you'll buy gas. You are basically useless. Unless I buy these cereal bars, which I probably should. Just because I don't know what other food's going to turn up. Uh, water bottle's probably not worth buying. Let's just send you away. Seven minutes till the next one. Actually, I'm going to put down proper floors and stuff around the next lot of turbines so that it's a bit easier to move around to them. So I was going to do the same style of separation as I've done on this one, except... Oh no, yeah, I'll do the same style. And we have a row. I was about to say except I'm going to do ten, but I think I'll just stick with eight. Do I need water? Uh, yes and no. Yes, I kind of do. I am going to get low on water. I bought an extra water canister, so I don't... I did almost double my supply. But buying the water bottles seems like an inefficient way of getting it. I just got to hope for another ice trader and next time buy water ice. To survive. And I really need to probably hook up a gas supply so I can sell CO2 to the next trader that wants to buy it. Meanwhile, the food guy's like, called down to a panicked guy who died at his airlock. Then a new guy showed up and got sucked into his base, maybe? Then another guy showed up again and went inside, so I don't know who's running this crazy place. Yeah, accurate. At least this is a bit more food. I'm actually not that dire on food. Because I've also got this food. Yeah, I'll put the pill in there too. There we go. Bit of extra cleared space. Oh, my battery's full. Is there a storm out there? There is a storm out there. Wow. Uh, I guess I turned the pipe heaters on. Oh yeah, my disc is on the floor. Thank you. Uh, I need 
need to get the battery out of this. Man, that suit is taking forever to break down. So I need more heavy cable. Yeah, you can just make that until you run out. Need more steel frames. Would you keep an extra disc in the vending machine? Um, it probably wouldn't help. Because I'd still be, like, it's still going to appear inside. And I can't do anything with it until, yeah. There's probably no benefit to that that I can see. Unless I'm missing something. And then once I've got enough steel frames laid out and welded up for the wind turbines, I can then um, <coughs> I can then start building extra wind turbines, start charging the new batteries. Maybe I've achieved what I set out to achieve at the start of this stream. Maybe I've actually done stuff. So if I've, my goal was to get to power neutrality today. That was my big goal. I don't think I'm going to quite be neutral with the like pipe heaters running, but without them running, if I can be close, that's pretty good. more of these do I need? need? One more. Get some sheets. Because I've run out of sheets. What are you going to run out of? Cold or copper? Copper. Don't have any copper up there. Okay, I should probably go mine some copper too. I'm likely to need some more cabling to finish off the rest inside the base. And I may need more than 42 cable for outside as well. We'll see. Alright, the batteries are slowly draining, so let's turn off the heaters again. Until I re see I need them. What the? Why are these still leaking? <laughs> Why did I come in here? What was I doing? Out of reason. I've already I got distracted by the bodies. Oh the heaters, thank you. Ah, uh, many a skull. But uh what was the key to pr to place things? Uh T. I can stay there for now. That's probably enough of those. Yeah, 
that'll do. Let's go outside. Should be another trader by now as well. And we have interstellar implements. I'm guessing tools trader. And that looks like I went the wrong way. My hope is that with a trader like this, maybe there'll be something I can make for them that gets me some cash, because I have been using up my cash reserves, and I don't want to end up in a situation where I can't afford seeds, and at the time I'd somehow manage to get them. That'll do. I mean, if I get a seed trader, basically what I have to do is hope that they buy something I can actually manufacture here and then just figure out a way to make it. <laughs> no matter what. So, you sell a box of spray cans, an angle grinder, hand drill, labeler, remote explosive, welding torch, welding fuel. Well, I could buy that. Steel sheets, plastic sheets, glass sheets, what will you buy? Nothing. Okay. I'm okay on oxygen for a while, so I'm going to send him away. How long till the next one? Oh, almost 20 minutes. Alright, ages. Yeah, maybe after I've done these wind turbines, I should put the effort into making a larger pad. See if I can increase my chances. Okay, so I need one more frame. And we're good. Probably start putting cables down. So I can see how many more of those I need as well. Oh wait, I've done that at the wrong position. I aligned it with the closer row rather than the further row, which is the one it should line up with. Thanks, Frostbite. Yeah, it was unfortunate about the terraformers save. Still had lots of fun, and unlike so many other situations where a save corrupts midway through you playing with it, I didn't feel like I was done with Station Ears when it happened. I was still very keen for more.
<laughs> that made it extra annoying for you, did it, Nev? I don't know. For me, for me, that actually made it just a bit bittersweet rather than I'm so done with this. Let's just get out of here. I don't care anymore. I'm just sad. Oh, <laughs> you had plans, yeah. Thanks, Frostbite. Thanks for the Prime Sub. And thank you, Otisnot, for the Prime Sub as well. And thank you, Shaggy, for the 15 months that I think I missed earlier. Sorry about that. By the timing, that might have been around my panic. Let's get a whole bunch of filters. Goodbye. Goodbye. Another one. Another one. And another one. There we go. Um... Frame. Steel frame. Then I'm going to need enough steel sheets to make all of the wind turbines, which is quite a few. So I'm making eight, I need 40. Then I'll have to transfer that steel across to here and hope that I've got enough steel to make the wind turbines and then see what else I need for it. I need 40, so that's... I need 41, at least. What can I do while I wait for that? Look at what I need for... Oh, I need more cable, so I need more copper. I should go mine some copper. I don't really want to leave this making sheets while I mine for copper. Um... I might just wait. It's not too many more I need for it. Just another seven. Uh, Barnaby, there's no point in me really putting a pressure regulator on this pipe. Because I'd need it for the tank as well. So I could put one here, but because this will pop at the same time as the canisters pop, there's no point right now. Until I build, and so I'm not going to deal with anything with that until I have um, the, whatchamacallit. Until I have... Until I'm rebuilding the whole oxygen supply system anyway. Uh, I'm not going to let myself be distracted by something like that. Alright. Uh, pop that out. Put that in there. Let's see what I need for the wind turbine. Copper, steel, electrum. So I've got enough electrum to make another six. I'm going to need to make more electrum. I don't even need to cook up a fair bit of copper. Okay. Oh, you were trying to come up with a short task. I see what you, where you were getting at, Barnaby. That makes sense. Yeah, because that could have been done relatively quickly. In the right hands. <laughs> Maybe not in my hands. All right, let's not mine the mountain that I'm building in anymore. Where is copper? There is some copper. And... 
Oh, I'm going to probably need more silver for the Electrum, aren't I? I don't know how much silver I've got. I think I've got one stack in there on the shelves, but I don't know how much is actually in that stack. Oh, poop. Let's swap those over. Oh, the, this just really doesn't want to drill down lower. Hydration critical. What's going on? CNF. I keep reaching this point where it's just like, nah, no, I don't want to drill deeper. I don't want to get that bit. Uh, it's not set to flatten because I'm getting, like, it's drilling down in some bits and just not others. No, flatten is absolutely off. Because it's not, it says set flatten, which means it's off. And how would I have gotten down here in the first place? Unless the bedrock is like super, super close to the surface on Venus. Oh, there's more copper. the bedrock so whoa so close on venus oh goodbye oh i guess that's enough copper for now then Does look reassuring for me getting a bit of power in at the moment. Um, Frostbite with Station Ears, it's a bit of a funny one. Yeah, it's in early access, but yes, it's also got enough game to entertain for quite some time. Um, it's a it's a very niche game. If it's something that you would like. Uh, then you'll probably get a lot of fun out of it, regardless of what stuff they continue to do for it. It's, a, it's another one of those examples of the meaninglessness of saying something is early access these days. Because uh, early access can mean anything but to between you get three days early access to a Bethesda game and it's completely broken, or you've been playing the same game that's been evolving for the last 10 years. <laughs> like, it's such a meaningless term now. It is more like a full game than an early access game. The main thing that makes this feel like an early access game um, would be the number of things that can break and force you to do a restart of your save when they do a major update. And they do major updates often enough that that can happen. They don't often break saves, but they can break saves. So being aware that your save can break is a thing. That's enough copper for now. I'll just take that with me. Leave that smelting. Standing next to the smelter waiting. And I wanted to put it in here. So let's get the cables done first because I need those. You'll need some more gold in there. That copper might have smelted, so I can do some more. 
Almost done. Um, I think station is is easier to learn on your own because everything moves at your own pace. Um, it's why like TFE trying to learn while we were all playing together was a tough environment environment for him to learn in. I think. Uh, Shadow did a lot of learning off screen because <laughs> she was enjoying the game so much that she just kept playing it. Um, how many more cables do I reckon I need? Yes, I need enough to get f to the wall because I haven't done. Oh, did I connect that bit? Yeah, we connect. I don't know what I've done. Can pretty much never have too much heavy cable. Might leave that running. See if that copper's smelted, and I can do another one. And then I'll start making some wind turbines. Ooh. What would you guys in chat say? Do you think Station Ears has a steep learning curve? <laughs> I think if you play on Mars and if you watch someone play the beginning of the game on Mars, you can probably work it out and go from there and build up. Unfortunately, my tutorials for the start of the game uh, were rendered less accurate with some of the updates. Still get the rough point across, but things like steel moved into various things and certain kits changed what they actually had in them, that sort of thing. It's a bit odd now. That's still the same guy, isn't it? Just hasn't updated. Yeah, there we go. 156 left. Um, but yeah, there are, there are people playing, like I think someone was saying that Cows Are Evil, who's someone who's done a lot of tutorials on Station Ears, has, um, started a Mars save recently, so that's probably a decent place to start. Those sorts of things. Or if you've watched all these streams, you've probably seen... A fair bit of what you need to do. I should really deal with my water in a second. this down while I'm here. I should also probably... What the heck did I get that out for? That was very much the wrong tool. I should probably go and empty my waste tank. Then 
when that's emptied, I will exchange it for the other one. So that I'm back here to save, having my safety net canister. It doesn't take that long to empty, which is actually pretty good. That is probably close enough. And we got some more copper. Smelt some more. One, two, three, four, five. Yay. Five more turbines. Need eight. And then I need a whole lot more heavy cable because I still don't have enough. Yeah, getting used to the inventory system that Stationers has is is a decent part of the learning curve. Uh, but once you get there, it's it's not too bad. I need to make a lectrum after this, but I'll get the first six up and running. I think would be a better idea. At least I can get them operating. Oh, I'm going to need some regular cable too. No, I'm not about to pass out again. I'm quite a long ways from passing out. The water thing takes a while to cause you problems. Uh... Oh yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. No, it's hot. Does matter. There we go. Alright. One. Unlock. Open. Eat. Drink. Drink, 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 drink. Close. Low pressure. Cognition low. There we go. Hope. Dang it. <sighs> Forgot, and I opened the internal door. Alright, we're going to drain it all out again. In theory, this vent should eventually get all that through. But what I probably want to do is... Close that door. Turn this vent on. <sighs> yeah, Vulcan has cold nights so that you can you can do things like Stirling engines and stuff from the temperature differentials. Venus is probably harder, but it, the thing I the reason I picked Venus was because I was like, well, at least on Venus, I kind of just have to get things done. There's no wait around for daytime, wait around for nighttime sort of thing, like there is with Vulcan. Because uh, waiting around for a thing is not exactly um, ideal content. But I suppose I could have just done it the same way anyway. Let's just open that. I need more copper. And make regular cable. How many of these do I need? It was... How many per wind turbine? Five, yeah, okay. I need at least another th uh, at least thirty of them to make the wind turbines that I have. And 
Yeah, just get a few more because I'm going to need to set these up inside as well. And that's what I'm going to need some more heavy cable for too. So once I've got this one set up, these batteries, I'm then going to move these ones into that room. So that's going to be my process for getting to the better setup. That's my plan. Yes, stackers go on the bingo card. I've never played a series of stationers where people haven't told me I need to build stackers. The, fu the, the funny thing is, for a long time, people were telling me, and I couldn't build them because they required fancy stuff. That meant I couldn't actually make them anyway. <laughs> and I think it's because of that requirement for fancy stuff that I uh, I just kind of learned to live without them. Um, do I just leave this running while I go outside? I'll get me 50 odd heavy cable. Yeah. Go nuts, printer. Go nuts. Okay, we're depressurized in here, so let's... Pull the thing out. And put more copper in. So used it all up. Yeah, stackers are nice, um, and having a stacker set up to do splitting of stacks is also nice. But they aren't, they aren't a nece they aren't a necessity. Interstellar excavators. Hmm. <sighs> Well, might get more ices from it. Thirty-two. That's gotten worse. Ah, nice. Might consider buying some volatiles if only to quick fire your furnace. Yeah, yeah, and I probably want to make myself a... Uh, I'll see what they've got and how much it all costs. But I may want to make myself a little belt to hold them in inside. So what can I make money from first? Ship fuel, hard mining backpack, pumpkin soup, tomato soup. So I can't really make money from this guy. Unless I buy the oxide to then sell it back to him as oxygen. Which might actually be feasible. I don't know. How many moles of oxide, oxygen you get from the oxide? Hmm. Ten times profit. Yeah. Something to set up for, but not to deal with now, I think. I'll think about it while I'm setting up these wind turbines. So the cable is run from there. 
We should have enough space here to put down all the turbines that I've got. Let's finish off the cable. turbines we have one we have two it is refusing to let me place them on the air why is it like this this is so annoying why does it not uh... this one's blocked by heavy cable straight what oh no that's annoying is blocked by wind turbine. <sighs> so weird that you have to place these in a specific order for them to work. Uh, I guess I should grab this one down the end. Now I can fix the cabling up. And then I can build these things. Build sheets. Well done. Five and six. Yeah, the big windmills are a bit annoying. They don't... Just the extra space they demand. I kind of like the way I've set this up. I like them looking offset. It kind of... It looks neat to me. But I just wish it was easier to actually get them to place this way. And I didn't have to do very specific placement orders to get them to work. But at least they all face the same direction. Because <laughs> I wasn't going to be happy if they weren't. Alright, that should be charging up those batteries. Then this set, I can start running a cable too. So I'll run this off this one. Actually, let's run it off the top one. Oh, no, no, I will run it off this one. Just to keep some consistency. So this then runs along here. And we'll join up to the other wind turbines. So that I can move the batteries and immediately have them hooked up. Like so. Uh, during a storm, in theory, I should be safe with eight tanks, uh, eight turbines per thing, because it's 10 kilowatts per turbine and a maximum of 100 kilowatts on the cable. So I'm leaving myself a bit of breathing room there. Once I feel like I'm definitely, once I get rid of the solid... Thing off any of these loops uh, the solid fuel generator then I can probably go up to 10 on them so that I can maximize it but just at the moment because of the solid fuel generator and me potentially using it I may end up accidentally 
uh, blowing it. Okay, you guys are flashing, that's fine. Let's get this cable run around to where the batteries will sit. I should be able to put the next batteries basically perfectly abutted against these ones. Should, because I as long as I leave these on. Uh, so I'll just leave that like that for now. And this goes down. And then get this all connected up to the same network. Then I need to move the transformers from over here to over there. So I'm going to lose all of the power to my base for a little bit while I set that up. And I'm going to lose all the charge in these batteries, which sucks. Do this. Let's run this in. Oh, actually, that's not going to work. That's where I'm planning on putting an airlock in the distant future. I need to go there, then there. I can go up, and I can go there, and then I can go through. That shouldn't mess with an airlock too badly, hopefully. I can get the cables off that wall. And that's going to be the power, the main power bit for my base. And then I can put some transformers here. This vent hopefully won't be required again. So I'm just going to disconnect it and get its cable out of the way. And I'm going to move that transformer, I think. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, couldn't I just cut the cable to the outside, let them discharge? Uh, yeah, I probably could. Probably could. And if I do that, I mean, that is there any big advantage to doing that, though? I guess I could just turn on the pipe heaters and wait till they're nearly run out, then move them. Pipe heaters go on. Smelt some more. And at least all my manufacturing stuff and battery charger is set on the new batteries. So even if I accidentally fully run them out, leaving those pipe heaters on, it'll be fine. Uh, the solid fuel generator is going to be passing power to the to these batteries once they moved so it'll still be functional uh, it is still connected up to that system so it's fine cool this is working so far Clean this up a bit. The 
this is <laughs> this is still a mess. It's getting better, maybe, but it is still a mess. So, Electrum. I need silver. How much silver have I got? Oh, I've got a bit. The silver process in the arc furnace. Don't think it does. Um, uh, I might just process it through now. What temperature is all this at? Let's have a quick look. Don't need a lot for Electrum. So this is at 579 Celsius. Uh, Electrum. Ah, I'm actually... Electrum needs nothing fancy whatsoever. Okay, that's fine. That's easy. So I can just off-gas these and then... We all good. I'm gonna just shove some gold in. Air tag critical. Yeah. We want to sort that out. Probably. Back I go. Yeah, silver outputs NOS. The NOS will end up in my tank here and react with the volatiles that are in that tank and heat it all up a bit. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen, right? Gold to process. Yeah, put a bit more in. Huh. That ingot is really cooling this thing down. Oh no! Oh no! I grabbed the wrong ingot! No! Oh, that worked. Yes, that worked. I'm gonna have to go find some silver. Will this reagent mix work? Or have I just totally stuffed that up? Like, can I reprocess this or do I have to now separate it? I forget. It works. Okay, good. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I need 45 grams of gold. 45 grams of gold. Oh, it just got too cool. Oh no, it just got too low pressure. More gas. Electrum. There we go. 199 grams.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I need to... Oh, no. <laughs> How do I get this out? Uh, oh, actually, I have an idea. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, I lost a gram of Electrum. Oh, well. Could be worse. I suppose. At least that lets me get many more wind turbines if I want them. Last copper in, smelt you, grab you, let's go. <laughs> Remember this moment later when you're one gram short. Yeah. Electrum in. Wind. Make two, oh, copper. Okay, I brought that with me. Thanks, Alex Boom. Thank you for the prime sub. I'm enjoying my new animated emotes. That I finally decided to figure out a quick way of making. I had no idea Premiere could output GIFs. Yeah, Barnaby, I wasn't sure that putting an extra gram of gold and silver in was going to work because it should have come out with the other one and it wasn't outputting the one gram of Electrum. So I figured it was something had balked. So I was like, all right, let's just make reagent and get rid of it. Seemed there was a logical flow in my head. Whether that logical flow was correct, um, eh, who knows? But it, it was there. <laughs> Come on, finish, 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 finish. There we go. Let's go make these. Oh, battery, one of the batteries is depleted. That's good. How long has this trader been here? Might send them away. Should probably buy a few volatiles ices while I can, but I'm also mindful of how much money I'm spending. And I don't want to end up getting finally getting the luck of having a seed trader and have run out of money at that point. Because that would be annoying. Okay, we got eight on the second battery set. How many space bucks do I have? Um, 500 or so I think I have left. 481. And yeah, there's nothing that... Uh, actually, how, what does the hard mining backpack cost? Mate. Steel and Invar. Yeah, Invar is a bit of a tricky one for me to make at the moment. If I had some Invar, I'd consider it. Because 100 credits is actually pretty good. Fifty space bucks for a seed. Yeah. It was mentioned in chat it was either 50 or 100 earlier, so I'm like, yeah, I want to keep enough on me that I can have... I can buy more than one seed. Because if I buy one seed... And then something goes wrong, that will be terribly sad. So, 
move the new, move the old batteries across, and then I can start working on a breathing, eating, drinking room. Yay! Alright, so I was thinking of putting the batteries here even though that's going to block the power switch. Just have to remember to actually turn them on before I put the one that's going to block it. Turn that on. That should be receiving power. But I'm using too much of it. Okay. That's fine. Done. Oh yeah, that's a good point, Barnaby. The big ones do have the power switch on the front, so this won't cause issues later. Yes, good. Phew. I'd forgotten about that aspect of it. So I'm glad you brought it up and that it wasn't... I hadn't done something stupid. Or something that would be annoying later. Okay, four batteries. And we need to fix up these other things. So this cable runs through to the other side, which has the transformer. So I'm going to need to make sure I run that all the way to the new mainline cable. so I should probably go in there and turn off the heat the pipe heaters because they're going to chew through all my power that I have let's go turn them off now I just got to reconnect the last little bit and I've moved my power system pretty much I can get up my batteries, <laughs> my battery charger relatively easily. I should totally move that anyway, though. Okay, that's out of the way. Now this transformer. Actually might change this up a bit. That goes there, then we can move this transformer one spot across. This transformer. We can go doop and doop. And then decide how on earth I'm going to divide these up, because I don't think I divided them up in a way that was actually required, given what I'm running off these. Because that's just running through... So that's running through to the furnace. The arc furnace. Battery charges. Hydration critical. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, lady. Um, actually, no. Let's keep running these as separate. So we'll go straight down from this one, which will go to all my production things. They can all run off that, and that almost lines up nicely. I'm going to get this cable out of the middle of the floor. In fact, it does line up nicely. What am I doing? Yeah, I missed the Kiwi voice. The, the voice they changed it with is just a bit too disinterested in everything. Oh, that's annoying. do this. Okay, so that's running off there, and then this can run off here. That should be fine. That's why do I do that. There we go. Okay. Drill. Grab that. Put it there. Grab my wire cutters. Put that away. Grab my heavy cable. Plug these in. Crank them. And then switch them on. Ah, I hate that my mouse bounces as I do that. I probably need to get used to lower sensitivity mousing so that that doesn't become a thing. It's not perfect, but it is a lot better. So much better. Four batteries that should get fully charged during a storm. Oh, look at this. I'm getting somewhere. Now I just need to make a storage room for all my junk. It's not just good. It's good enough. <laughs> I like that. All right, let's go send away this trader and get a better one. Different one anyway. Yeah. Eight traders, no seeds. Ooh. Uh, I have disconnected the power from this. Where was that connected? Oh. Came through the wall. Oh dear. Um. Oh dear. Can I actually hook that up with how I've rearranged things? Yeah, yeah, make a bigger pad now. Not a bad idea. Um. Okay, chat. Pad. <laughs> Enlarge the pad or make a drinking eating room. I think drinking eating room is first. I think that's more important. Because it is one of those things that I do waste a lot of time with. Uh, 
And then I can make a bigger pad after that. You gonna find anything? No. No. No, you're not. Oh, I need to run heavy cables for the bigger pad, the bigger dish to go with the bigger pad. Ugh. Ugh. That's unfortunate. Now, do I have any frames that I left in here? No. Just thought I'd have a quick look at the thing. Um... Frames. Oh, no steel left in that. Uh, I'm going to make more steel, because I am low. So. Stack of 50, stack of 50. That one's 30, so let's stack it up. So that's one, two, three. Yeah, that's enough for two stacks of steel. That'll do. Thanks, better yet, Shark. Thanks for the sub. All right, off gas. Let's go. Nothing is in there. No. I plan on playing a lot of Stationers in the near future. Uh, I mean, I plan to keep playing this save because I'm enjoying myself. Um, I don't make... I don't make long-term plans these days about what I want to do with my content. I have a whole bunch of ideas that float around in my head of things I want to do, and then I make decisions on what I'm actually going to do much closer to the actual time. Because I find it's just too hard otherwise. Build yourself a fully welded 4x4 room so that you can set up a breathable Atmo in and in doing so you will work out all the kinks needed to expand the Atmo to your workroom and turn the 4x4 into your grow light based greenhouse. Yeah. Probably not a bad approach. Alright, let's... Uh, actually, no. It's vacuum in here. It's fine. I will go and grab water and food because I'm making that horrible breathing sound. Alright. Unlock. Hi, right, drink. Drink, 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 drink. Oxygen critical. Eight blows. Low pressure. Yeah. You'd think venting to vacuum would kill enough of the bacteria in my suit that I wouldn't be quite as stinky. Although they're probably resistant to the time I'm there in vacuum in this. Maybe some of them would die. Um, alright. So, let's get the steel out of here. What temperature is this at? 596. I keep remembering the, um, Kelvin... Ooh, it's not hot enough. Okay, I've got to heat this up more. 
That's unfortunate. Do I have some nitrous in here? I do. I might be able to get it hot enough by just putting some of the cool gas into the hot gas. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Didn't explode last time. Surely it'll be fine this time, right? Got a little bit of oxygen in there. Oh no! I did my gas tank canister wrong. This isn't getting go filtered. My O2 that I put in my gas canister is just going to go in the cold gas. Oh! How did I... Why did I do that? And I've already got this one sort of set up to do it anyway. Ugh, wasting oxygen. Um, poo. Oh, well, let's see what happens to the temperature in here when I put cold gas into it. 596. I need 627, so I could try and get enough power to get that up to temp, or, oops, that's not what I'm going to press, well, we can see what happens when I put 139 degree nitrous, oh no, this is cooking itself off, I think, let's just put it in, nitrous meeting the volatiles, May not be at a high enough percentage to ignite, though. Oh, no, it's getting hotter. It's igniting. Six hundred nine, six ten. Yeah, this is working. Six twenty, twenty one. Okay, I think we need a bit more gas coming in. Need to get that a decent bit above 627 because now we're at goal temperature. But we're going to run out of volatile before it happens, I think. Yep. So we've run out of volatiles and that's going to that's just a degree too cool. But it got me pretty close. So let's turn on the pipe heaters and use up all my power. I've got some cobalt. Yeah, maybe. I think I'm happy enough to just wait this out. Uh, the, the, yeah, how much actual, how many moles of O2 are in this? 7.32. It's not a huge amount. So I need to remember, well, I need to get rid of this, this emptier. I should just get rid of it. Because it is not set up right. I should be using this one. Because this one goes into the same thing as the furnace and then can get filtered properly. Uh, so let's grab that out of there, put it in there, and leave that on. Then we just need to make sure I have enough power running, still going, so that this can get hot enough. And it's 628, so I might be hot enough. 629. No, uh, the, the brute force heating thing is, it's just different to what I've done in the past, so I'm enjoying doing different. I'm, I'm liking that it's uh, a different, it's creating different problems to deal with rather than just putting hot gases in. 
Uh, just putting gases in and igniting them, I should say. Gas for less. Ugh. That's very slow. Still quite slow. Oh, that's closer. Thirty five. Twenty-two. That'll do. And late. So in a game like Station is one of the reasons I kind of like doing things in different ways and sticking with them for a while is I find for me it gives me a feel for how much how they work how well poorly etc uh, whereas if I just ditch them straight away for the thing that I know how to use I'll never really learn something different okay so I could buy oxygen canisters I could buy a fuel canister what can I sell to this person bulk carbon dioxide Oh, and empty gas canisters. That I can sell. What do they take to make? They're just iron, right? Yeah. It's not a lot of money, but, you know, $75 reduce. I think I'll accept that. Yeah, 50 iron for 75 space bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I don't really have a lot of space to hold these. Five, six. Thanks, Big Mike. Thank you for 21 months. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's seven. I'll come back and grab the other three. Actually. Uh, oh, this should be fine. This should be safe enough. Yeah, I need a send loop for the vending machine as well. Eventually. It's less important. I haven't really found a lot of things I've been able to sell that it would make that would make it um super worthwhile. Uh, my life has gotten a lot better in today's efforts. Uh, I mean, it's the fourth life for today, but it's still gotten better. Cool. Um, I'll deal with the carbon dioxide another time. 
I'm sending him away. Got six minutes till the next one. Let's have a look at where I can get a... Let's... I should be able to get the, um... Steel made now. So, sort that out. Power is a bit iffy, but is a lot better than it has been. Because I haven't burned any coal in quite a while. 637. Alright, that's 10 degrees difference. Uh, I'm going to take a quick bio break and then hopefully it'll be hot enough and I won't have run out of power. Where are we at? What temperature are we at? 640. Uh, let's turn this off. Or I chew through all the power in my base. This is basically empty. Let's really empty it out. What temp what pressure do I need for ah. steel? One megapascal, isn't it? Yeah. Some more gas in there. And we have steel. I have enough stuff to make the things I need to make now. Uh, I have air conditioning, yes. I don't have a room that's air conditioned, but I have my oxygen supply air conditioned. So, steel goes in there. Copper can go up there. Let's make some steel frames. So I'm thinking for my eating room I might dig further into the mountain. as I would like to have it off this main room. I could make it off the... the furnace room. Um, but I think I'll make it off the main room. I'm going to need to smelt some silicon to make piping for this too, and ugh, there's going to be a lot to do. Oh, Dog of Beans! <laughs> Thank you so much for the 1500 bits. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I am getting stinky too. That is true. I need to move these. Uh, I'm going to do that. So I can place those walls. Disconnect you. Then need to, I guess, drill. Yeah. Is that there then? Uh, 
Uh, that's perfectly good. Okay. So that's reconnected. Oh. Nope. Oh, that'll probably still work anyway. Okay. That one's out of the way. Now let's move the water. Actually, is that going to stop me placing down the water? Or was it just the oxygen? Oh, it was just the oxygen that was stopping me. Cool. I wanted to build these dividing bits because <laughs> I have a feeling they're going to be needed at some point soon. When I'm drilling through on the other. Okay, that's probably enough. For the moment. Let's get some steel sheets. Yeah, I don't have to worry about my air as much, thankfully. Um, getting those oxides and buying them from the trader was actually very, very effective at getting my air supply mostly sorted out. My battery just died. In my drill. Yeah, I probably should reattach the water before I get too distracted, shouldn't I? Done. Reconnected. Let's deconstruct this thing. It's in where the wall's gonna be. Caution. Drill, presumably? No, wrench. There we go. Thanks, Ceres. Um Grab a steel frame. Pick up some of these. I've made a bit of a mess. Yep, the waste tank's a bit a little be okay for a moment. Just wanted to get those welded up. Now I'll go through to the other room and I'll empty it out. Because so I've got the emptying thing set up and I'm actually going to use the correct one this time. I should make a new canister because I don't have a backup canister anymore. Because I sold it. At least I'll be able to dig out that voxel once I've built up the wall on the other side. If I need to, to get at anything. Yeah, TR Wolf, honestly, the, um, the coding side is intimidating for me about any game, but I find that I've found that I've been able to have small enough projects in Station Ears that I can start getting my head around it and can actually usually get a little bit of coding done. Not usually anything particularly complicated, but I can usually get something because you can find projects that are small enough that even with my very novice levels of understanding, you can still have something to do. Uh, which is quite, quite nice. 
that's been what that's kind of one of the problems I have with space engineers is it's there's so much the likelihood of me finding something that's um something I can actually achieve that I can learn enough for it's basically zero is why I never really learn anything for it thanks talk Thanks so much for the five gift subs. Uh, the pipe heaters are off. I've turned them off. Turned them off before smelting the, um, the thing. The steel. Let's just chuck those there for a minute. Get them out of the way. Put them in a different way. So I think I'll drill maybe one more block here for the main room. And then I'll start. Then the next block space will be for the airlock into the eating room. That's how I work it. Thanks, Doc. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think how I'm going to go about getting the air into the breathing room. Uh, since all my gas handling stuff is in the furnace room. And I think I'm going to need to have a lot of pipes <laughs> to, to make it work. I might even want to have a standard wall in between here and the other room rather than full cubes at some point. It's in the way there. That one's. I was thinking just start off simple for these things. Just keep the airlock right there in the middle. And that should probably be a decent start. Welder. Let's get this thing welded up. So, anyone got any good ideas about... <laughs> I, th I honestly think I just got to run the pipes for the filtration system, don't I? Just run them far enough and probably pop them through that frame there or something because I don't want to run the air I don't want to have to make up another air conditioner I kind of want to run them off the other one the existing cooled O2 system and then I need to have a way to feed that back actually maybe that's all I need to do yeah so I need to have something coming off This, yeah, just this O2 line. And then a way to get it back. Maybe if I put a valve in before the tank over here so that I can keep it separated when I need to. So it stays at the right temperature. And then I can deal with the CO2 side of things for the plants later, I guess. I just need to be able to get it, get the temperature in there down. Because it will probably gradually get hot. Power low. Hmm. 
Let's go check on the traders. Should be able to get a new one by now. If I get a seed trader now, that's going to be amazing. But I don't. I get Astro Alloy Emporium. Star Smelter 5x5. Five five. If only I had the 5x5. Five five. What happens? Not enough energy pointed. Oh, you need 200 watts. Okay. So if I get it absolutely perfect with this tiny dish, I can do it. Will it land on this or will it crash? Hmm. Probably not the time to find out. Because I probably will. It'll probably take me like three hours to actually get it locked. It refuses to come down. Okay. I think that was quicker than the other way. Come on, give me the percentage so I can work out where I'm at. The degrees, I mean. Seventy-five. Oops. Feels a bit better, maybe? I don't have a gas receiving slash sending system set up yet. Uh, you can write software to auto-aim the dish. Nine... I'll do. Uh, for the dish thing, I'm not sure I will try and write something myself, or if I'll just... Well, I mean, once I get seeds, I want to see how far I can get without needing to use traders to get stuff. Because then it's about self-sufficiency. But with how long it's taking to get seeds, it's like, ugh. You kind of have to buy stuff until then. Oh, I can buy Invar. Invar's the hard one for me to get. I can sell a whole bunch of ores. And make a whole bunch of money. 600, 7, yeah, I can make a lot of money. I can do a lot of mining and make a lot of money. And buy all that Invar. Because uh, I'm remembering correctly, Invar's the hot one. Yeah, it's relatively hot. Not super hot, but hot enough to be annoying. Cool. <gasps> Was it there? This needed Invar. Yeah. Okay, so I can buy enough. Ma I could make. Buy some, make the better drill, then go mining with it. Uh, but, let's at least sell off this stuff I'm holding right now. Yay, money. Alright, I need 450 iron. Let's go make an, a mining belt or two.
Yes, I see many a mining trip in my future. I think the mining trip is going to delay uh, some of the other things. I think the mining trip has to take priority. Which is fine. Oh yeah, mining backpack, not mining belt. That's what I meant. Mining backpacks are better than belts. Just need a bit more iron. Oh yeah, I I feel no guilt taking advantage of this guy and his willingness to buy ores from me. Gotta make that money somehow. Cool, I can get four of these. So I think, um, yeah, I think having the, the goal be get all the money from this guy and then probably, probably the breathing room isn't super important compared to getting a better trader options, is it? Arr! Uh, I wanted to breathe. breathe. Oh, oh no. I need to fix up my tanks before I go out. If you don't have Constantan already, you should get some. Yeah, what does Constantan mate, take to make? Not super hot. I can probably just make it. It's all filtering through, that's fine. Yeah, the mining goggles. I feel like this guy's going to be hanging around for a little bit. <laughs> it's like, gradually work through all the things that he's got for me. All the things to sell to him, and all the things to buy from him. What do smart tanks require? Uh, copper, steel, silicon. Nothing too fancy. I could actually make them. Are there insulated canisters now? No. So he wants iron... Coal. And waste tank is still limited to four megapascals. Oh. Empty these out. I just need to basically get everything, don't I? And now that I've made a few backpacks, at least I can optimize my storage a little bit too. I've got a fair bit of nickel. Um, due to the mining modifications to get more ores, um, nickel's not terribly hard to get. Which is one of the things that I find a bit awkward about adding the mining mods, but honestly, it, on balance, it's just... it ends up feeling necessary. Otherwise, I would have spent 
every stream so far, mining heaps and heaps of stuff, just spending so much time mining. And that's not the most... That's not the part of the game that I like to spend the most time on. Six hundred iron and copper, four hundred gold and silicon. Coal. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Those pressure differentials are real. So that's two, four, hundred and fifty iron, two hundred copper, three hundred copper. Mining can be very tedious. Okay, so that's, an, that's enough copper. I need a little bit more iron and I could collect more gold. I am probably not going to sell gold to him. Uh, because I want it for oxygen. Even though I bought the oxide and stuff, I think I still want to get some... I still want to try and use it for that. Save it for that, I should say. I don't mind, I, like, I, I, I think mining needs to be a part of the game, it's just, I think outside of me just playing for my own amusement while doing something else, the mining is too slow. If I had something, like a video playing on the second screen or something like that, and I was just zenning out and not really paying attention to what I was doing, um, then I could totally happily mine with the vanilla settings. Right, let's uh, let's go deal with what I've got and see how much more he wants. And yeah, I know I know eventually you get the deep mining and stuff, and so you you kind of do deal with the problem eventually. But that feels a long way off. Oh, also this feels so wrong. But that feels so right. <laughs> okay, so I can sell another 200 iron, 200 copper, and 150 coal. money I have nothing use I have no a lot less useful stuff to buy with it than I would like but I have money
You know what? What the heck? I've got enough... Uh... No, Constantine I can make. Invar pain. Oh, what the heck? I've got enough money. Bend those out of the machine. Bend. Bend. So I need to get... Um, 100 copper, 150 coal. And maybe some silicon if I find some. Right. Hundred copper, hundred and fifty. Nope. And the next time I have one of these traders, I should have a heavy drill. Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm hungry. I know I'm thirsty. I know my health is going down. Uh, I don't know the state of my... Ooh. Okay. My waste tank is getting full. There appears to be mainly more copper here, not more coal. Oh, there's some. How quickly I go from burning coal to selling it. Just another stack to go, and I've got enough of that. All I needed to do was put down 16 big wind turbines. Seem like I'm going to get much else. Uh, some gold. I may as well pick that up. Alright, silicon, where are you? Oh, cold. <laughs> Never mind. That's a bit more... Come on, six more. Just six more coal. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Maybe next time I'll be able to make the glasses too and then I won't need to search for anything. sell all of this max out the coal selling I haven't seen any silicon either that's my mountain so I don't really want to mine there just keep looking back at my base to make sure I can keep I can see it so I don't get as rapidly lost as I otherwise normally would there we go I've got enough coal now to max out selling. My tank is getting full, so I'm getting out of here. Gotta go back. Before I die. Having the back end of the trader there is a really handy light source. Turbines are going well. How's that battery? Can't quite see them from here. You can build a beacon to find the base, but the beacon requires a lot of power. Oh, speaking of power. Oh, 
Huh. Why? Why are two of them full and two of them not? Power low. Shouldn't the power draw be equal? They fill and empty in a series. Ugh. That's annoying. Both are connected to a full bank of turbines. Both are connected to this same amount of power generation, except for those couple of little ones which don't really count. So both should be getting lots of charge. It's the power coming out of them that's going to be different. And I didn't appreciate that it was going to be that different. Um. Pooh. That's unfortunate. Uh. Okay. Open and drink. Pressure I mean, eat. Critical. Drink. Oxygen critical. Low pressure. Cognition low. Okay. I am fed. I am watered. The gas canister is empty. Excellent. Uh, this goes back in the wall. This goes back in the crate. Got a few stacks of silicon here that I could sell off, I guess. Yeah, why not? Pop them in. How much more copper did he want? Copper 100. Oh, this is good. Um, put 100 copper in. Now I might do a quick scan now that it's daytime and see if I can spot some silicon to quickly mine and get the last little bit of cash from him. That looks like it could be silicon over there. Nope, that's gold. Milk him for all he's got. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to give him any of my gold. <laughs> it's probably not for any particularly rational argument, but hey, I don't want to give him any of my gold. And I do need lots of silicon for insulated pipes. That is true. Maybe I don't want to sell him my silicon either. Oh, I added a mod that increases the draw distance, so that should make it a bit harder for me to get lost as long as I can still, uh, given how flat the surface here is. Which is good. Should be able to see my base from much further away. That was the other mod that I sort of added because I've always played with one of those mods when I've been able to um, so once I found the version that works on this current version I was like yes please 
Give me draw distance. I am unlikely to build something so big that that's going to be a problem. I should have enough silicon now that I can sell some off and not feel too bad because I should have enough for the pipes. Uh, as I now have a good few hundred. Go. Cool. He wanted 250, didn't he? Of this. I'll get a little bit more. I think my base is this way? Oh. No, my base is that way. Ooh, that could have been bad. That was a classic me moment. Uh, no steam. I have not seen the Fallout TV show. I am unlikely to watch it. Um, don't really watch any TV. I don't have time. Any, most of the free time I get, I spend with Toby. Or sleeping. <laughs> ah, look at all those wind turbines. Juicing up the base. we go 250 and he can leave and <laughs> i've got 2000 credits yeah see you buddy <sighs> i think that's a good note for wrapping up for today yeah i've got lots of money i've got the fancy stuff from that guy we should be able to get another trader as soon as then I start the next stream. I should be able to get myself the heavy mining drill. I've got mining backpacks, so I've actually got a decent amount of stuff. <laughs> oh no, Camo! <laughs> Thank you for the 26 months. Oh, sorry about the terrible timing. <sighs> yep, two full streams of traders and no seeds to speak of. I am very much hoping that next week... I will be able to both make myself a breathing, a room to breathe, to eat and drink in, and make a larger landing pad with a larger satellite dish so that I can try and get some better traders, because I need better traders. Ugh. I need the food. I want the food. I want to make the food. So yeah, I will be back on Sunday with Shadow and some more RVs at War, and then I'll be back on Monday Probably with some Planet Crafter with TFE uh, while Capax away in Japan. And there'll also be some Scrapyard on Sunday night over on YouTube. So there's all that. Metal Mavens. Well, that's not who I want, but let's just call them down anyway so they're here for next time. What? 25 degrees from contact. How is that not enough? Seriously? normally good enough. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> well, that got worse. I'll sort this out. Uh, but yeah, all those things are happening over the weekend and into Monday. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.